Today it's going to be sweet. The candy fluff diaper has to prove how good it is in a practical test. The package is already quite empty, because I have tried some to form a better judgment. In the original, it is filled with 10 diapers and is not exactly inconspicuous, as it is made of transparent, thick plastic film. This is not unusual for such colorfully printed ABDL diapers, but it should be noted for discretion. As with most diapers, I again opted for size M. According to the manufacturer, it is suitable for a waist circumference of 70 to 100 centimeters. That's a noticeable amount, but I'm sure that's because the manufacturer wanted to reduce the number of sizes. There's only L to go with it, which is supposed to fit 100 to 130 centimeters in circumference. The fit will come later, let's look at the diaper first. It's white and you can already see that it's printed with various sweets, in keeping with the name, you can see candy or cotton candy, for example, but also bears and crocodiles, which are probably meant to represent corresponding sweets such as Haribo. Many of the motifs were also printed on the picture of the package. Since this is a reusable plastic adhesive diaper, there is an adhesive area on the front that is covered with a thicker, smooth plastic. Unlike some other diapers, however, this does not interrupt the designs. The entire diaper is printed, and the clear adhesive area was simply placed over it. Some use the adhesive area for contrast, so to highlight this strip with special colors, for example. This is not necessarily necessary or better, but a purely optical thing and thus a matter of personal taste. Inside, the diaper has high leakage barriers, as you would expect with the higher quality and thicker ABDL diapers. Outside it is completely made of foil, which is popular with many. I had done a poll on this once. A clear majority prefer diapers with a foil exterior rather than the alternatives with a textile-like surface, also called cotton feel. Here you can see the area for sticking, which was covered with a thicker and somewhat harder film, which in my opinion hardly bothers in everyday life. The idea behind it. In contrast to the thinner film of the diaper itself, it should not tear open when the adhesive is released, without immediately covering the entire diaper with such a thick film, which would certainly be rather unpleasant, especially between the legs. This works without any problems as you know it from other products. The adhesives can be stuck on very easily and can also be removed quite easily if you still want to change the position. Only when they stick for a while, it goes a little tighter, but still without problems. You can peel off and reposition the adhesives several times without the adhesive performance diminishing as a result. I never had any tear-off, even though I wore a few diapers, as you could see by the empty package at the beginning. The diaper feels large and roomy. It is probably by the size range a little tick larger than another M, but that was not a disadvantage with me. The fit is right and in case of doubt, it is better if the diaper is a bit longer, so that, for example, in bed nothing runs out the back. I find the suction performance excellent. As you can see, several loads went in and it takes a while until the diaper is also wet on the buttocks. A fresh diaper weighs a comparatively large 234 grams, which makes it clear that you will be packed rather thicker. The fullest diaper weighed more than 1.9 kilograms when it started leaking. But as I said, this is only if you stick it tightly enough. If you don't, it can start leaking at just under 1.5 kilograms. To be fair, I have to say that this is not a special feature of this diaper. All thicker diapers with high absorbency must fit properly and should be tighter rather than looser. Otherwise you cannot take advantage of the absorbency. The liquid then runs out, for example, on the legs, if you have bad luck. In addition to good taping, a bodysuit can also help as it pushes you up the diaper. The fuller a diaper gets, the lower it hangs down and that increases the risk of leakage. However, I always do the practical tests without a bodysuit so that it is fair and comparable, especially since not everyone has one or wants to use one. But it's worth considering, at least if you wear thicker diapers more often and want to use them to the fullest. Those who do not wear a bodysuit should regularly check whether the diaper still fits perfectly and pull it up if necessary. Retaping is also sometimes useful if it no longer fits so tightly over time. Then it is better to stick them a little tighter to prevent leakage. Price-wise, a pack of 10 is available from €24.90 at the time of videoing. A unit price of €2.49 is fair in my opinion, as the diaper has a high absorbency that can definitely compete with other, more expensive products, provided it's glued tight and you like the designs. Personally, I think they are nice, they are clearly more boldly printed than Pampers, but quite the contrast does not come close to the critter caboose from Rears. The Rears has a somewhat higher suction power in addition to the even stronger motifs, but it costs a bit more at 2.74 euros per piece. In the end, there is no difference between the two and it is a question of taste which one is more appealing or more important. But especially with the candy fluff, the question still arises, are two sizes enough for everyone to find a suitable diaper?
The Critter Caboose offers three sizes, with smooth transitions, 76 to 102 cm for M and 87 to 107 cm for large, for example. For me personally, it made no difference. The fit was no worse than other size M diapers. But I can imagine that this is not the case for everyone, especially if someone is quite slim and small, size M might be too big. I also see possible problems if you are in between sizes. Basically, the opposite of what Pampers is doing is happening here. They've gone up to size 8, even though the diapers hardly got any bigger, they just made the existing gradations finer. Feel free to write me in the comments what you think about it and what you think of the diaper. My conclusion is positive. It's a slightly cheaper diaper that is still attractively designed, feels thick and good, and impresses with high absorbency. At the price it is a buy recommendation, if as I said the thing with the size fits. Therefore, better if possible first buy individual copies to test before ordering a whole pack or even several packages. I hope you enjoyed the video, have a great day, don't run out, see you next time.